I was going to move on real quick and just talk about um, a little poker room review. I mean, you got to get down to Florida, bro. You got to get down there, dude. I mean, it's been, like I said. I know. <laughs> it's, it's common. It, again, I throw this out there every time, and I hope that some of the small, like the small fish out there, listen and, and like kind of follow us and, and kind of rep, you know respect what I'm saying. And it's something I really want to talk to some of these pros about. Like, how the hell do they juggle life and the grind? Because I would love to be able to do as much as you're doing. Again, Anthony, uh, you know, he has kids. They're a little bit older. Yeah. Like he has a lot more wiggle room. Where my kids are are young. Like. It's it, yeah. it's it's so hard yeah, like, right now. You know, it is because like even like this week, you know, like they are starting flag football. So, you know, it's just like juggling like two, three practices a week. So I'm like very like time oriented. Like I schedule I'm like super management of like everything has to be scheduled to like the exact time of like when yeah. things are. And uh you know, it that's just the way it is. Like I have to like super but just to go on but that's also why we're planning Vegas five months in advance I, exactly you know, because i have exactly to. um so yeah so anyway i went down to florida uh i've been talking about a little bit of this so i've been trying to do some of the poker room reviews i want to talk about this for a couple of reasons why one uh i liked it i did well i talked about the mystery bounty last month i played there um isle casino pompano uh park i don't know it's Pom- i was saying pompano it's pompano, pompano yeah Pom- i don't know it's something it's pompano. tomato tomato exactly but uh here's why it's relevant for a couple of reasons um i went down there i've been down there before i played like just some like local tournament there like daily tournament years ago and then this year they had the wsp circuit event for the first time uh and so i went down there for that this pish um i feel like they're going to start a wsp circuit event in your basement in my base, why? <laughs> because they're popping up pretty much anywhere that's willing to host, host the poker game. <laughs> well, okay, so here here's the thing about this, though. Caesars bought this property. It is actually going to get rebranded, I think, uh, this year. It's going to actually be called Harrah's of Pompano Beach. Oh, nice. So that it's actually going to be an official Harrah's property. So you can expect to see the WCP is probably going to be here every year. So there's always been a Florida February event, and I go down – couple reasons one because february is absolutely miserable in new jersey yeah, yeah. and like i i don't want to say i'm depressed i don't want to use that word but just being in the cold no, for I'm, like i'm depressed three months uh, by that point by the time like february hits i'm like dude i need to get out of here i need to go so i look forward to that mini trip every single year yeah, it breaks it up so it's been in tampa before that trip it's been um right down the road here at coconut creek from this one which i'll talk about in the future um, and then this year it got moved to Pompano, uh, but it looks like it's probably going to stay here because now this is an official Harris property. Uh, it's a pretty decent sized poker room. It's 38 tables. It's open uh, each day, but during the week it's only open right now from like 10 to 3 a.m. On the weekends it's 24 uh, 7 or 24 hours a day, but during the week it's 10 to 3. Now, again, it throws me so off. And you guys that play in these women as well that play in these areas, it's so mind boggling to me. It's 18 plus to play in it. That's crazy. So you can actually ship a circuit event. So here's one of the questions I had, and I don't have a direct answer for because you know there's a tournament of champions this year. Yeah. How- you, you could be 18, ship a, a thing, but I guess you wouldn't be eligible to play in Las Vegas. No, I don't think you, I don't think you could. No. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, so the casino floor hmm. is down below. Uh, it's separated. There's security guards at all entries that check your ID. Not me, because I'm old as shit. But for people that look like they're somewhat close to 21. Uh, and then they allow the outside, you can walk right up to the poker room, which is like upstairs above like an escalator. And it's pretty big size. And um, But here, <laughs> it's like so, I don't know. It's 18 to get up there, but there's a bar up there. Yeah. So, like, why don't they check the – I don't know. But this, anyway, there's a bar up there, and then it goes outside, and they have a really nice um, – I believe it's harness racing there. Uh, they have a horse track. Oh, okay. So, I believe it's horse harness racing, if I remember correctly. It's not regular racing. It's uh, horse harnesses, which, if you've never seen, it's, like, the ones with the carriages on them or Yeah, whatnot. they got someone in a little – like, kind of yeah. like uh, Ben-Hur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's – it's um, it's um they have a track right there, but – it's a decent room. Um, I was there for the circuit, so like I said, I don't know what the Monday to Friday looks like there, but they always had good daily tournaments because even when I was there before, they had good daily tournaments, and it was pretty solid. 
Um, the tournaments when I were there were pretty, they were run pretty smoothly, no major issues. Like the floor is very, um, competent to hosting there. You know, I was one of the things I was worried about is like the first time, like one of these events are held somewhere. It's like, it's usually like a shit, shit show. show. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, for the most part, I mean, I'm sure there were some hiccups along the way, but, uh, I played in one of the bigger events and that ran like pretty smooth. I didn't see any major issues, anything like that. Um, other cool thing this place does, which was one of the first casinos that I saw that had done this. Now, it's pretty standard in a lot of places now, but they will organize a chop for you. They give you all the numbers. They bring it out to you, like, not on the WSP circuit events, but, like, their daily events, their nightly events, and they'll literally print it out for you and, like, bring it down and, like, break it down. A lot of casinos you go to, they're like, oh, we can't talk about a chop. You guys can talk about it, but it's got to be, like, they're, like, their floor is, like, very open there. They help you out, like, if you want to figure out ICM, so oh that's cool yeah so they're pretty cool when it comes to that kind of stuff um yeah so just you know a decent casino it's uh not too huge now they're they're expanding uh that's the other reason i want to talk about it since harris has taken over they're investing money into it i don't there's not a hotel i don't think uh, connect this property uh, correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below but pretty sure there's not a hotel but it sounds like two things they're adding is maybe some rooms there uh, they're going to expand the size, and they're also putting a top golf there too. Oh wow! So like it, a virtual or no? Or... I think like a like a regular. Oh no shit! Yeah, yeah, dude, that's going to bring in so much business. I think I saw. I was reading some news articles about it. Again, correct me down below if you guys want, um, but I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm trying to just scoop through here real quick. Fifteen hundred slots, couple of restaurants, um, sports bar, blah blah blah. I don't know. I don't know. I have to dig further. I don't want to waste too much time just looking at it. But, yeah, it is coming, um, and, and now it's considered an official WSIP poker room. So, yeah, so I think from now on it's going to be held here every year in February, which is fine with me. I know the area. I know the place. Um, I found some cheap Airbnbs there that I've been staying at, so I'm cool with that. My only complaint, I have one, and I'll try to post a picture of this. Their chips are, like, horrendous, dude. They're, like, cash chips. They're so faded. Like, they need to upgrade the chips. They're, I'm sure they will. They're, they're just going to get the WSAP brand on it. I or hope did they have that? No, they didn't. They were just these crappy old chips. So that's, yeah. like, my only downfall. If you're listening to this, you work there, whatever, dude, get new chips. They're just crap. Now, is like, this in their dailies or in the, in the circuit events? The cash. I'm talking about the cash chips. I'm oh, sorry. cash I'm games. sorry. Yeah. The cash game chips, they're, like, these, like, cheap, like, cheapy, like, I don't know. Like, the they're not, like, the normal clay ones. They're, like, a little different, but they're just. Like, the ones, the ones we play with? Like, like the clinky one? No, no, not even like that. They're just like, uh, they're an upgrade from that. They're just, I don't know. I'll show you a picture. I'll show you a picture. It's just like, they're all faded. You can, it's like hard to read on them. I don't know. Like the Taz chips? Yeah. Like they're just crappy looking. Like they've been through the ringer. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So that, that's my only, uh, that's my only kind of downfall about that place. But yeah, no, it's actually a really big poker room. You wouldn't really expect it, uh, cause the casino is not huge, but I mean, 38 tables and then. Probably more than that because when I was there for the tournaments, they actually had tables on the outside too to like I guess alleviate some of the traffic. Yeah. So it was actually that they and I think those were just set up tables they set up around the edges. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty good. They got a cage right up there too. You know, it's kind of like separate by itself. Now what about um? Now is this on the west coast or the east coast of the state? This is on the east coast. Okay. All yeah. right. So it's and there's a bunch of other poker rooms down there which, um, Danny Beach. I don't know. I'm probably not pronouncing that wrong. Uh, Coconut Creek's down there. It's uh, you know probably about forty minutes, half hour from Magic City in uh, Miami. I mean, there's like a handful of poker rooms down there to jump yeah. in. Um, now, just one question I always have: like, what about the food? Like, how? Like, what do they have available to eat? Like, snacks? So there's like- only like two restaurants. One is a diner, and the other one I think is a seafood restaurant. I'm not 100 percent sure. I went to the diner, but I was on a tournament break, so like I just so they got they're, in order for this to work, they're gonna have to upgrade. I mean, you said they're gonna add some restaurants, gonna have to add, add some eateries. Yeah, and shit. they're gonna have to eat. Uh, so the diner has like a little deli out front where you get like little salads and stuff like that. But that's it. They don't. Have, so I'm assuming that would be with the upgrade too that you'll get some more restaurants because there's not a huge selection there whatsoever. Yeah. I mean that's always like so so important because again you get those you know hour dinner breaks in those tournaments and you want to be able to have options because if you have a field of 400 dudes and chicks playing poker and let's say they're down to the last 200 at dinner break 
yeah. going to the one joint. Yeah, yeah. It's it's well, that's it's, it's going to be mayhem. I had a ticket to go. I went to go sit down, and by the time my food came out, I had to like run. So yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I mean so, that's the one thing, and and not to get back off track, but getting get back to like talking about the WSOP. Like that's the one thing that I like about the move from the Rio back to the Strip is that. You have so many more food options available to you on those lengthy dinner breaks other than what's at the Rio or yeah, what's yeah. around the Rio. Like you and could you walk, walk yeah, anywhere yeah. and get like a quick bite to eat. Like I know like right outside, um, you know, right outside Bally's, they have like like a chick like a Chick-fil-A, like kind of like a satellite chick. Like there's places that you can get quick food yeah, like yeah. real fast. So um cool. Now it sounds like a really good time. Again, I'm hoping to get back into the flow of traveling yeah you know getting getting to some other poker rooms and like i said with 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 this year next year should should be a little bit easier i'll, I'll try and piggyback with you 